What's up y'all, back again with another video and uh, today's actually video one of many uh, covering this Synology disk station. This is a DS423 Plus and what I wanna do in this playlist is take you through the entire setup, the entire process of setting up a NAS and then exploring all the wonderful features that you can accomplish with this Synology disk station. So if you guys been subscribed for a while, you know that I've always been a fan of Synology products. I own at least three of them. I've used them for surveillance. I use them as file server, VPN server, video player. Um, this can essentially set up your streaming library. So many advanced features and definitely wanted to just slow it down, take it step by step, one process at a time just to get you guys set up. So this video can be helpful for anyone that's in the market for Synology NAS or network attached storage and is uh, wondering what can they do with a NAS? Well, stay tuned, watch this video. This is gonna be initial unboxing. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So before we jump into it, just big shout out to Synology for sending this out to me to review. So this product was provided. However, all the thoughts and opinions of this product will be on my own. So. This video, I want to keep it short, going to go into the unboxing. The next video, I'll show you guys how to set it up, the initial setup and getting it on the network. Then we can jump into some of the cool stuff. So let's first get it unboxed and get the drives in. All right, so Synology has been a partner with the channel for a while now. Like I said, guys, really appreciate um, everything that they do. Um, new products, they do have a couple new ones coming out that I can't wait to take a look at as well. There we got the big knife. <laughs> I normally have a unboxing knife, but all right, so we are making some progress here. So let's see what's in the first box. All right, so it looks like this is going to be the power cable at least part of the power cable. Um, traditionally, they have the part that plug into the wall. Then they have the transformer to go along with it. All right, so here's the other piece that I was looking for. So this is gonna be connected to this essentially, like this. Um, just some of the specifications on this, if you guys can see it, the input on this. It's going to be 120 to 240, of course, and the output is going to be 12 volts at 7.5 amp. All right. It does have a proprietary plug, as you can see there, and it does have little tabs in here, so you cannot plug this in improperly. Also in the box, we're going to have two Ethernet cables. Now, cool thing about this NAS, and we'll get into that more once we take a look at the unit itself, is that this does have port aggregation, which means that it does have two ethernet ports. How this works is you basically plug both of them into your switch and it does um, provide additional bandwidth as well as failover. So if one goes down, you still have a backup and it does provide additional throughput. Pretty cool. We also have a quick start guide. We have some screws for the hard drives. We have two keys for the drive base. Let's take a look at the NAS itself. All right, so um, this is um, pretty straightforward as far as the buttons. You do have four drive bays. They are numbered right here at the bottom. One, two, three, four. Uh, of course, you can lock them. They did come with some keys and to get them out, you just kind of pop them. And we'll install the drives here in a little bit. We do have the power button right here on the bottom right. We also have an additional USB port so you can plug in your USB drives or your SSDs in here and you can read it directly from the NAS, which I think is pretty cool. We do have some LED indicators right here. So we have the status, this one, two, three, four. So if everything's good, all these LEDs should be green. If they're anything else, then you know that you need to go ahead and take a look. Like this about Synology, 
the logo is right here but this also acts as a passive vent so you can see we do have grills on the side and same thing for this side we do have some airflow pass through on the back two fans for the exhaust we also have our two ethernet ports for aggregation of course and we have the power so not a lot going on here in the back um, pretty straightforward so on the bottom you notice that we have a rubber legging so keep it in place but we also have these two slots and the cool thing about Synology NAS is that you can install SSDs and this is going to help with the system reading and writing um, with the SSD cache so you can go ahead and do that and we'll probably do a separate video on that just to show you how to configure it and what it will do um, as far as just making your NAS run more efficiently. There is a Kensington lock right here as well so if you wanted to go ahead and secure it that option is there as well. Here's a look at the drive trays and let me just pull all of them out. So we're going to go ahead and install hard drives in them in a little bit but I wanted to take a look just the interior just to kind of see what we're dealing with so let's see if we can go ahead and get some of those drives installed so first thing and this is another thing that I love about Synology is their drive trays are built pretty um, nifty and easy to use so you can see there is a slot right here on the side this guy right here pull this out and when you look at this, you can see that it does have those tabs that go directly in your hard drive. Um, so essentially, you don't need to screw anything in. Um, you can see how it looks with that one installed. You just pull this out, goes right into your drive and you're all set. So let's go ahead and we'll get a couple of these drives installed. So normally Synology will send me some Iron Wolf Seagate drives, but Synology has actually started um, sending out or manufacturing their own hard drives and um, I think it's a welcome sight so they did hook me up with some drives so let's take a look forgive me if I don't have my anti-static wristband <laughs> so these are Synology's own NAS drives NAS grade drives four terabyte and like I said I can't wait to test these out so as far as the insulation all right so what we need to do is essentially put this in like this all right, we need to make sure that the holes are lined up. They are, as you can see. Once those are in, this becomes <laughs> pretty dummy proof, guys. Pop these in. The other side as well. And that's basically it. I'm gonna slide it all the way in and push it in and we're all set. So pretty straightforward, I'm gonna go ahead and install the other three. And of course, at this point, if you wanted to go ahead and lock the base, you do have the keys right here, two sets, pretty cool. So basically just put that in, turn it. All right. That should prevent unauthorized access to your drives. So next thing, I'm gonna install the ethernet cables. Um, with this, you do have the option, you can either use one or two, but once we get into the actual configuration, I'll show you what, how these work and how you can go ahead and configure them just to make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, but you did get two, so you can install both. And the last step here before we get this powered up, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the power cable. So this is ready to be powered on, put on the network, and next video I'm gonna show you how to get it recognized, get it set up, uh, create your Synology account if you haven't done so already, and do the initial setup. So if you're in the market for a network attached storage, of course I'll put this one in the description of this video. This is one of their medium sized ones. It's gonna give you a lot of storage options. You can do your Plex server on here. They do have VPN like I mentioned. Also have a AD server, web server. It's so many possibilities and I can't wait to get into it with you. So make sure you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.